Wait, what? Can't even hear y'all. <laughs> she said something about killing. Who's killing who? No, no, this is a family family podcast. What I what you say, Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said typically when a guy leaves a situation, especially if he was cheating, is that is most likely because he chose another woman and he chose to be with her mainly, maybe, and that's why. Y'all, he y'all have no clue <laughs> what men are like. Y'all have listen. Tell me y'all don't know men without telling me y'all don't know men. Wait, like, who's I genuinely, question? genuinely have no clue? How guys think, why they move the way they move, how it is that y'all can secure the man that y'all want. Y'all have no clue whatsoever. Y'all are so, y'all are literally out of fish out of water. This is why it's good for men to pick women, for, for them to select their wives. And for y'all to for y'all to stop trying to think that y'all know or or understand, man, y'all have zero, zero clue of how it is that y'all are supposed to be selecting guys or ma- who y'all should be making yourselves available to. I don't agree all. with. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. No guy leaves. I don't agree. another woman. I don't agree at all. But go <laughs> Men don't leave because they don't find another woman. You don't think so? No, no they don't leave because they oh. find another woman. As a matter of fact, I have a lot. Sometimes, they'll just, sometimes they'll just. Let me just say this. Let me say this real fast. That's not true. And it's not really fast. Let me just say this because I have a lot of really close guy friends. Like I do. Uh-oh. And that's Uh-oh. one of the reasons why I do think I know men pretty well. And I know for a fact that they were juggling between a few women. And then when they did choose one, they ghosted or left. The one that they were in, the others that they were entertaining, that happens all the time. So I don't understand no, why you're saying this. So because they chose another woman, they left because your mouth, you talk too much, or you you making it uh, too much of a headache for him to deal with. Like that's not why he left. Mm-hmm. Mm. There was something. Listen, about if, your, if your male friend, a lot of assumptions, but listen, listen, you listen. Know. If you know male, what I'll go ahead and if your male friends are not fucking you, then you won't. You're not going to understand it. You're not That's gonna a get hard it. Lesson to learn. You're not gonna get it because you think that you understand them, but you don't understand them because the way that they communicate with the person that they fucking is gonna be completely different than the way that they communicate with you as the friend. It's, it's not their fault though, Anton. They project in the way that women view relationships on men. I know. Men, right? I agree. So, so, so what they're doing is they're saying, "All right, I would leave because I found a better mate." Because women are hypergamous by nature, right? Uh, men, on the other hand, men will leave to protect their peace or men will leave because it's something that you promised that's now lacking, right? If you cooked when we got together and now you don't cook, I right, babe, I don't need you. Okay, if we Myron. got together and you was in shape I think and that's cap. behind you, you I think know, that's you cap. in the wagon <laughs> and now you look like oompa, loompa, doompa, I right, babe, I'll catch you later. You see what I'm saying? That well, actually... Thing. I also, well, I feel like, well, yeah, okay, okay. But there are a lot of guys who will stay if you keep a couple pounds. They'll just treat you a little differently. You ever notice that? Some guys. They'll, just, they'll endure. Like, yes, you know, guy, guys endure. stick around for other reasons. Like, yeah. a guy will stick around, for example, because he got kids with you, right? And so um, you, have a, you have a longer lifespan because he wants to make sure that he's taking other things in consideration versus how it is that he feel women leave because they need to find happiness or they, they discuss it with their situation most of the time they already checked out by the time that they left guys endure much longer than women do and so the reason that they the reason that they leave is much bigger than whether or not they selected another woman that has nothing to do with it a guy will even deal with another woman and don't even take her as serious as he takes you and he'll stick around but that's not why he left. Usually he leaves because you got a self-inflicted wound and it's something that you're doing that you're not taking accountability for. That's why he leaves, right? Uh, the reason that he broke up with you, Chanel, based off of what you communicated, part of it was because of your mouth. She looked like she got a mouth too. It was, it was her mouth, <laughs> right? It was, the attitude, it was the mouth. And no matter how pretty you are, you ain't pretty enough to, pretty enough to continue to deal with that shit for the rest of your life. Well, that? I'm not dealing with that shit. <laughs> and One problem that women got is is when they get into relationships, <laughs> they fail to accept the man's hegemony, right? All that boss bitch shit, you gotta leave that shit at the Did door. Did you say hegemony? If you, yeah. Hegemony. Yeah, he likes to use big words that the black contingent don't know. 
All right. I understand, okay. man. You, you got an issue with me being a logger file and, and not fucking white women. I get it. Oh, uh, but uh, women uh, oh. need to accept a man's uh, hegemony whenever they get with them. And one of the major problems that we got is that For y'all uh, who don't know what a, a, a woman will be on the will, will be on the boss bitch mentality, or she'll come looking for a man that's a, a equal, right? And in terms of leadership, in terms of direction. Right when I get with the woman, I already knew where I was headed, baby. You jumping on this plane with me, not the other way around. You see what I'm saying? So if that's how we gonna do it, and, and that's what reality is, if you come over here trying to dictate to me, I'm gonna need you to go on here and step to the side and let the other woman jump in line. You see what I'm saying? How long did it take you to get that way? Were you like that when you were like 17? I'm you said, how long did it take me to get that word? I'm no, to get that way, with... like um, you know, oh, oh that way. Yeah, since you know, I was like little, 17, since I was little, when a man is on, and, and Anton will attest to this, when a man is on his purpose, the woman is less important, right? The woman needs to compliment the purpose, not the other way around. So, so you if were the woman like that can't compliment school? what I got going on, I don't want anything to do with her. So that's what I mean. Were you like that in high school? Was that something you were born with or did that something you cultivate? What do I got to do with this? I don't have nothing to do with it. That's something that was that's something that was taught to me, right? When I was young. I came up under under a certain group of men that dealt with women in high frequency, right? So can a man learn that that type of thing? You said what? Can a man learn to be that way? Or do you think men are instilled with those values at a young age? Or do you think I mean, they can I don't, learn? I don't believe in it just being purely nature, right? Like if we were mm-hmm. purely nature, men would be clubbing women in the head and dragging them home. You see what I'm saying? So I don't I don't think <laughs> anything is purely nature. Everything is That's learned. Pretty cool. But with everything being learned, you got to learn the right stuff. You got to realize that it's more than just your background, more than your village just trying to teach you your man, your kids, all of that, right? We have programming going on day in, day out. So when you add all that up, yeah, it's learned, but people learn a lot of stuff that they probably shouldn't. So like a man, I'm just asking, I'm just, you know, so if a man, you know, well, young man, like 17, 18, he's kind of shy, he's kind of quiet, you know, through high school, he graduates. Do you think he has the potential to be somebody like that in his 20s? Can he learn that type of behavior? by the time I, he's a again, overcoming and adapt because that's like the principal thing that humans are built off of we can overcome and adapt that's what makes us human right but with that being said if he fails to overcome and adapt he's going to be left for uh a lower class a, a lower tier female shall we say and a a tier, that doesn't that's not indicative of money or status or wealth or anything of that nature it's all the type of man you are the type of woman that you qualify for right if you can't lead if you refuse to get on your get on your shit and do things for, solely for you and solely for the betterment of whatever it is you want to better in life then best believe you're going to end up with a chick that's going to tell you what to do she might not be in the best shape right you're going you're going to end up with the chick that no one really wants because that's like what you me. qualify for yep. okay. but the flip side of it is and and just to answer the question the thing that women don't understand is that guys don't want to marry the woman that got the BBLs. Just because we'll just because we'll deal with them, just because we'll keep them around, just because we'll bust them down, just because that's the one that they holler at, hey, come here, you know, whatever, so on and so forth. That's not the person that they want to raise their kids, though. That had nothing to do with what he said, but I believe you. No, said- I'm answering a question. Oh. Bob, <laughs> the question at the bottom, the original question that we started off with was, are women getting BBLs for men? I think that they are. No. I oh, absolutely I think, think that they are. I think that they are. But even if you're doing it for Instagram, it's to ultimately attract attention. It all comes back down to attention. It all comes back down to hit you up. It always, it all, it's like, for example, uh, one of the young ladies said lifestyle. Well, where is the lifestyle going to come from? Where do you think that this lifestyle is going to translate over from? You think you're going to get the lifestyle for yourself? It's just going to appear out of nowhere? Or is the lifestyle going to be afforded to you as a result of you being available or making yourself available to a certain type of guy? The lifestyle comes from- What if from- you pay for the lifestyle yourself? 
How you gonna pay? Okay, so you gonna buy a BBL? You get a job. <laughs> Women can work now. <laughs> I have a question. You know, I have, think about think about what you just said. We're gonna pay for a BBL for to what? afford the lifestyle yourself. What are you getting the OnlyFans or something? What's the point yeah, of a BBL? Yeah, that could be part of it. I mean. Do you want to women make money in so many different ways? Like BBLs aren't that expensive these they days. They can, either. yeah, they can yeah, afford a lot on their own without a man. You're going to alter your body. Five hundred bucks. You're going to alter. First of all, y'all need to stop going to these shoddy ass fucking doctors. All right, that's not because <laughs> no, just because it don't cost need, a lot don't mean that you should probably them. go to the person I that's doing it. No, I don't out here. Y'all going to get y'all teeth done? By these fucking non dentists and and no surgeons like y'all out here looking like Mr. Ed and shit with them ultra white Gucci main teeth. Stop. Listen, just because it's affordable, don't mean that that's the person that's qualified to perform whatever it is that the fuck you got going on. No, that's I think they need to keep doing it. You know why? Because it's weeding them out. That's not wow. hold on. That's, we are that's number one. That surgery. That's, that's number one. That sucks. Right. You know what do they say? You know this. You know the weak. Eat. You know the. Strong, what you trying weak. to kill our women? Jesus. The stupid <laughs> ones. Bye. Wow. Well, wait, wait, wait. That's number I, one. I, I think, I think that's number two. Number right. two. Number two. I think you're not sorry. getting a BBL. Listen, all, if you get a BBL in order to afford a lifestyle, what you're basically telling me is that you have no skills to afford it for yourself. You have to yeah. guarantee value to anybody other than what it is that you look like. And A, looks fade. B, that means that you're using your body. And then C, any man of real quality is not going to look to keep you around longer than whatever it is that he can use your body That's for. That's why they should keep doing it. it weeding it out. Weeding mm -hmm. it out so the men can find the real well, yeah, I'm, but, but I'm That's a lot of assumptions, bro. You think all it's men think the same and they don't. No. Okay, yeah, so let me, ask you, let me let me let me ask you a question, baby. Let me ask you a question, baby. How how many men you know make a half a million or more? Very little. You mean personally? Or are you talking about dinner? Oh, uh, on TV. How many men do you know in real life that you know that you can call up right now when you got their phone number that make more than a half a million dollars a year? Five hundred grand. Hmm. What? You Not know one. Is it your father? How is many do you father? know? How many do who know? Anton? How do you how many do you know? First of all, I am him. Okay. Okay. Great. And, and, and secondly, all three of my brothers make make a great a crazy amount of money. And I got three brothers. That's number two. You and said 500 k a year. <laughs> That's, that's what you just asked me. You said 500k a year. I said more than 500k. Okay, so more than 500k a year yeah, as you and your brothers. Well, that's not that's that wasn't the end of the conversation. That was and a start. Married. It makes sense why you are the way you are. And, and third, okay. I have a network. That's awesome. And third, I'm not I hating. I'm just asking. Guys, I got friends all over. I got friends that are executives. I got friends that are NBA players. I got friends that's all over. And let me tell you. The thing that they look for to marry versus the thing that they bust down is two different things.